Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of August 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you, whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know right now. My job is to see who you're connecting to this week and why, what your story could be with them. I'll get their feelings for you, your feelings for them, see if you're on the same page. I'll get their intentions with you, their behavior and actions towards you for the week ahead, and I'll even deep dive into what could be challenging you the most this week, with or without this person influencing it, followed by your advice. Just keep an open mind that I do get very nosy in these readings, I don't hold back, and I don't sugarcoat, so please only take what resonates, leave what does not resonate behind, never give your power away to tarot cards, you're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading whatsoever. So with that all being said, let's get nosy oh last thing is my voice has been going in and out um, so if I'm talking a little bit more softer in today's read it's because I'm trying to preserve my voice as long as I can all right so yeah spirit please tap into the energy of Gemini today Sun Moon rising and Venus placements who's heading towards Gemini this week and what can Gemini expect what type of relationship do they have what's going on two more shuffles one, two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Geminis. All right, so let's first start with the person coming towards you this week and see how they feel about you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is Earth energy showing up. Their intentions with you. Two of Cups. This is Cancerian energy coming through. Their behavior and actions towards you. The Nine of Swords, this is Gemini energy, but also Aquarius. Your feelings towards this person. The Knight of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's challenging you this week? The Ten of Pentacles, Earth energy. Is the camera focusing? Okay. And your potential weekly outcome, Gemini. The Ace of Swords, air energy. And your advice. The Five of Swords. Ooh, why is this your advice? And it's Gemini energy. The overall for your reading, the Ten of Swords. Gemini, I'm strongly getting the vibe that this week is all about do we or do we not give to this any further. I'm strongly getting that I have a Gemini here that's tapping into a situation this week that requires a lot of time, energy, and careful consideration. There is a person that you're communicating with this week or around this time frame, and it involves do we put some repairs to our foundation that we created with each other, or do we just let the house fall, you know? It's someone that cares about you deeply. It's someone that you have love for as well. You both are coming towards each other with deep feelings for each other. Your feelings being the Knight of Cups, their intentions being the Two of Cups, tells me that you both have emotions already invested, okay, where whichever direction that you guys decide to take this relationship, you both are gonna end up either being really excited to get closer or both really sad and suffering a loss okay what's challenging you and this person this week is getting this relationship where it's up and running in a strong way and not looking like it's decaying day by day okay this person feels ready to put in the work towards this relationship to get it to be where you both want it to be but with that nine of swords being their behavior, I feel like they're possibly getting in their own way by causing a lot of stress for the relationship. Nine of swords. With your advice being the five of swords, this is the energy of you needing to protect yourself and fight for what you stand for. All right, it's competing for what is yours even if you have to be a little out of character to get it, okay? All right, I'm gonna tap in. Let's start with this person's feelings for you, Gemini. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this person's feelings for Gemini the Eight of Pentacles? 
They want to put forth the effort, put in a lot of work, improve something. Why the Eight of Pentacles? The Four of Cups, the Chariot, and the Five of Wands. This person's really like, this person's really like in a very somber energy. It's like this person may feel like they may have messed things up by getting in their own way. I don't know if something happened during cancer season and now that we're in Leo season, this person's seeing what, what happened after getting in their own way maybe. It, it's feeling like this person may have ran away from this relationship at one point with that chariot and the hair font. And then I see the Ten of Swords. So it's like you got somebody here that's struggling to get to where they want to take this relationship and they feel like their anxiety gets gets in the way of what they want for themselves. They feel like they sabotage this and they're feeling very like you know bummed out about it. They're feeling they're feeling very low key like oh man, what did I do? So I don't know if they said something that they can't take back or they hurt you in a way that they can't be forgiven for or they fear they can't be forgiven for. You've got a lot of love for this person right now with that Knight of Cups. So it's like there's something you're still here for. Let me clarify your feelings. Why the Knight of Cups for how Gemini feels about this person? Why the Knight of Cups? The Two of Pentacles and Justice and the Ten of Cups. You're kind of going back and forth, weighing out the options that you have available to you, Gemini. You want what's fair, you want what's just, and your, your vision for your future is in alignment with, you know, a beautiful life, happy people around you, feeling the love, being loved, nurturing, and you're trying to figure out if this person, can you have everything that you're trying to see for yourself with that 10 of cups? You don't want to get let down. You don't want to get disappointed. You don't want to let yourself down first and foremost, yet alone get let down by this person. You've got a big heart, Gemini. You've got a really big heart. And you're spilling the tea with me right now. You're standing there with that plate of freaking tea in your hand and you're like, Badison, I'm about to spill the tea. You know, you're wanting to tell me how much you care about this person and that you really want what's best for the both of you. But there's something going on here. Unless this is telling me that something needed to be removed from the equation in order for you guys to get together, that could be a message I'm getting. Let me take a look at this person's intentions because their intentions with you is a relationship to a cups or to have mutual understanding with you, to, to like get close to you. Why the two of cups for this person's intentions with Gemini? The devil in reverse and the six of pentacles in the upright. They want to remove what is bringing your relationship down. They want to eliminate whatever this is. Not mafia style or anything like that, but like if there's like um, behavior patterns that people are, are repeating that's hurting this relationship or insecurities or fear or addictions. It could be a number of things, but the devil in reverse is I release whatever that is that's affecting me and Gemini's relationship. Now that I did that, do you want to still work this out with me, Gemini, is what this person may be saying to you. Because the Six of Pentacles is all about an equal give and take relationship. I do my part, are you gonna do your part? Or is this one-sided? Am I in love with someone that does not love me anymore or at all? This person may be saying to you. But clearly you do have love for them as your feelings came up as the Knight of Cups. But you're in this energy of, yes, I can love this person but also need to protect myself from this person too. I can love you from afar if I don't feel like you have good intentions with me or the relationship just is not working out, you may be saying to yourself. I mean, they got good intentions, but what the heck is going on with this Nine of Swords, Gemini? And why would your advice from Spirit be the Five of Swords? Hmm. It's been a very long time since I've had a reading like this. It's like this person is like clinging on to something 
to avoid it from falling apart, Ten of Swords. The Nine of Swords is like being up late at night, tossing and turning, being haunted by something. I want to clarify this Ten of Swords. Hold on. Clarify this Ten of Swords, please. Didn't you get this card for your August monthly, Gemini? I could have sworn you did. Someone did. Why the Ten of Swords? Whoa! Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Someone's trying to protect this relationship from collapsing. But someone's scared that they've took too long to to really like step up step up to the plate and now is worried that it's been abandoned like the damage is already too severe you guys could be separated right now all right let's take a look at this ten of pentacles that's showing up in the challenge position Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing repeated tens. You got the Ten of Swords right here, Ten of Pentacles right here, Ten of Cups right here. So we got three tens. Three tens could mean something to you. Three, you know, the tens are reduced to a single digit, so that's three ones. The Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. And then I see the King of Cups. So the Eight of Pentacles is your person's feelings. I feel like what's challenging the situation is that this person has not been upfront and honest about their plans to like do their part. They have not like expressed themselves to you in a way that you need them to express themselves to you for you to trust what they're saying is what they really want to do. It's like you need to hear the words to see or feel if this person's being honest with you. Like it's easy for someone to just text, I wanna work on things but you actually need to hear the tone in their voice, look at their body language, and see it in actions that this is exactly what they want and they're not blowing smoke up your butt. All right, because I'm seeing a potential opportunity here with the fool to start something new for these two soulmates to work together as a team, two of cups, but there could be some fear of deception or one being self-deceptive. And then there's the Wheel of Fortune. All right, I need to jump into this Nine of Swords. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on with that. Because this person's like, kind of, you know, putting out like an SOS warning to you that they know that they keep on like causing conflict. Now, this is not to say all the blame is on this person for whatever's going on, but this person is showing up, taking accountability that they kind of make a mess of things sometimes. We all have those moments where we, like, you know, create our own conflict and chaos. Why the Nine of Swords? Ace of Swords, King of Wands. This person is really trying to, like, override their anxiety and fears and step to a more confident position with that king of wands and come towards you with this ace of swords energy ace of swords is the weekly outcome gemini as long as someone's not stuck in an indecisive pattern with that two of swords now showing up with the tower but your weekly outcome with this person is tying into your person's future actions and behavior this week where there's communication Text messaging, FaceTiming, emailing, stepping at each other's home, talking. It's, it's a breakthrough in some sort of direction for the two of you is what it feels like. So whatever happens, you're going to have the information to decide what to do next, Gemini. So let's take a look at your advice. Actually, no, I want to clarify the Ace of Swords right here. Why is Ace of Swords Gemini's weekly outcome? The Three of Wands, that's you waiting on this communication. And 
having the information to know what to do next. King of Swords. The King of Swords is main staple is the Ace of Swords. Without this Ace of Swords, the King of Swords is clueless on what to do. So this is you gaining this mental clarity and using your head, staying focused, and you know, removing removing your heart from the equation, Knight of Cups, and making this decision head over heart. You know, you got your heart check. You got your heart chakra resting up against that snowy ice branch as if to tell the universe, Spirit, what I'm going to do next does not require my heart. I'm going to put my heart on ice, keep it nice and frozen and reserved for when I need it. I'm going to use my head on this one. And what you decide, I don't know if it's good for this person or not good for this person. I'm going to get your advice. Your advice is the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords Gemini's advice? The Seven of Swords and the Fool and the Magician. Oh my Lanta, what is going on, Gemini? That's strong Gemini energy, by the way. It's Mercury. Are we in another Mercury retrograde? I've lost track of the transits. I've been so freaking busy. Um, there's something that you don't trust, Gemini. And you feel like you, you're needing to like collect some more information. All right. It's like you're worried that the moment you go all in on a situation and leap into this new direction, that the moment your back is turned, there's something that's deceiving you behind your back. And you don't want to get deceived. You don't want to be betrayed. I need to get another round of clarifying, but I'm going to use a different set of cards, okay? trying out my new toys. I just bought all these new cards. Well, not these ones, but the original spread and this one. Oh my goodness. I just opened up to the Ace of Swords again and the Ace of Cups. So Gemini, you've got a very important decision to make this week because it connects to a new beginning and love for you. Whether this information that comes to you from this person makes you feel like you have more of an idea of whether or not you need to cut this person off for good and choose new love instead or it's going to give you the clarity that you need to know whether or not you and this person can pour into the love connection again but give it a period of renewal you're going through something right now gemini and I feel like it's bigger than just this love connection. I feel like there's other things going on where you're trying to figure something out for yourself. And I feel like this person is playing like a key role in this moment of you needing to like dig deep for more information about what's happening around you in your life and what you're giving your attention to and what you should stop giving your attention to. Clarify this person's feelings for Gemini again. Clarify this person's feelings for Gemini again. Huh. The Ten of Swords. They feel like you're done. Or the, they feel scared that they may have been the cause of why something is done. And they're like, oh my goodness, what did I do? The hair font on the bottom. Ten of Cups. Oof. Give me more on how this person feels about Gemini this week. They want to talk to you because they feel like they, they went into something too quickly or a decision was made too quickly, like too premature. Like there was not really much thought and consideration into what was done. Something like that. Give me another card on this person's feelings for Gemini. The Three of Swords, they're heartbroken about something. But they're pretty much telling me in this reading, but I caused it. I know what I did. Now, Gemini needs to figure out if they want to, like, let me, like, reclaim their, their, their heart again. And that's where this Eight of Pentacles comes in. This person feels like they need to put in a whole lot of effort and work to undo whatever this was. Now, Crosswatcher, if you feel like Gemini is the one that made this bed and needs to lie in, take it however it resonates. But this is Gemini's reading. Um, Eight of Wands on the bottom. 
repeated eights, the number eight can mean something to you. We are in the year of number eight too. Hmm. They feel like this, this connection kind of went up in smoke recently. Whether it was during a heated argument where swords were being thrown at each other and swords in terror represents words, information being shared, truths being revealed, tough truths, you know, something. But now this person is losing a lot of sleep at night with that nine of swords after what sword was given. Like you can't take back the sword. You can't take back the swords you threw at somebody. Like someone treated you like a human dartboard, throwing sword after sword after sword, whether they said some inappropriate stuff to you or said some things that you just like, whoa. But you're still, you still love them. So whatever, whatever happened between the two of you, Gemini, you're over here like, yeah, but they're cute. I like them. I have feelings for them still. I don't know. What the heck am I doing? Crap. It's like you don't, you're, you're mad at yourself at times too for even feeling this way about them. Give me a card on their intentions again. Why the two of cups as their intentions with Gemini? Why the ten of cups? The Hierophant. This is either the intent to learn a tough lesson or the intent to reestablish you guys' bond together if the bond was tampered with. The hair font is a, is a teacher at times. And the page of swords is a student. This may have been a karmic lesson. And then I got the lover's card on the bottom. YouTube does not like cartoon nudity, so I gotta show you the card book. I gotta cover the little cartoon bits. <laughs> Let you see that it says the honeymoon card, but it's really the lover's card in this tarot deck. And that's Gemini energy. Like someone wants to reconnect with you or reestablish something with you, but they feel like the mess has already been made and that they don't feel confident that you would even want to hear from them. It's like they're walking up to your door, getting ready to knock on the door, but they're stopping themselves and thinking, Gemini looks too happy in that house without me. Maybe I should stay away. Give me another card on how Gemini feels about this person this week. This is a big week. A lot of anxiety for someone and, I don't know, you just want to be treated fair. Six of Pentacles. You just want to get to something that you know is going to get back to you, Six of Pentacles. And didn't I have the Six of Pentacles earlier? Yeah. It came out with the Devil in Reverse and the Magician, Gemini Energy. So you're in this energy of, should I manifest new into my life? Or should I manifest some sort of resolution with this person? You're really trying to figure out what to do here. Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads in regards to some communication that you are receiving around this time frame. It's like someone's reaching out to you, Gemini, and what they have to say to you is leaving you feeling like you need to pause for a moment and reflect on a few things before making any big moves, big power moves. Queen of Wands on the bottom. All right, give me another card on Gemini's advice. Ten of Pentacles, connect to your friends and family, the people that you feel like you have a, a long standing relationship with, people who know you best and get some insight from them. But it's also the energy of focusing on your long-term investments, your career, your monies, things like that. Things that really help you feel like your energy is where you want it to be. Because when you get restless, your energy might get scattered and you don't want that. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm gonna get your person's hidden message, what they wish that they could say, if they could say anything at all. But I get pretty much every zodiac sign in this reading today. A lot of a lot of Leo energy, a lot of Aquarius is here, Cancerian energy, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. It could be anybody though. Um, do check out your August monthly. I don't really remember how that reading turned out, but if you haven't seen it, maybe that reading might give you another perspective into your love life. All right, 
Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Gemini. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video. BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Baddison. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread, where I do a similar spread as this, but I'm more live and interactive with you on camera. I show my face, engage with you in the chat, things like that. It makes it easier for me to pick up on your energy and your specific thing, your situation. I'll link in the description box below this video the most recent All Signs reading I did because it's good for the week ahead. I just did it. Um, I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. Someone may be having a huge wake-up call about the actions that they participated in. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart. Now I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, for some of you Gemini's, this person didn't follow their heart and now they're, they're haunted by something. Something happened may have, maybe during cancer season with this Cancerian influence, and now in Leo season, it's like, what did I do? I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. Didn't I just say that a second ago? I could have sworn I said that. I could be wrong. Oh man, I gotta go easy on my voice. I got a little bit too excited there. All right, so I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Till then, do what you can to smile and see your cheeks hurt. Take care of you, Gemini. You are your top priority. All right, and whatever's going on with this person, I hope it works out. But at the end of the day, just surround yourself with people that love the heck out of you and just want you to be at peace and distance yourself from people that constantly like stress you out not saying that this person is that but i am getting that this person's coming in with a lot of sword activity which is all about mental anguish at times and mental whiplash all right so i hope this helps i love you take care namaste